we live, we live, we live, we live. Hey, we live, we live. Uh-huh. We live, we live, we live, we live. <laughs> hey, yo, we tuning in to a rain check. Right now, we are here with my friend, ex co worker, ex friend. Just everything ex because she's horrible. Can you see our face on here, both of us? I want them to see her horrible. No, I'm joking. This is my friend. Right. We work together in the school system. She's gonna tell you more about herself. I like people to introduce themselves because I feel like sometimes when people introduce other people, they don't really put a good oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, this is Shelly. That was good, that was good. You know what I mean? No, that was good. That was good. All right, well, what is your name? I see you love. That's her daughter, that's her daughter. We are out here in the city right now. We are we are at South Sea Super Sea Court. It's real nice out here. Um, we got her kids. We got one of my kids that I'm like um, training. And we just out here relaxing. It's summertime. I know it's a little late, but we're going to check in with her right now. We're going to talk more about her, okay? So I know you are a teacher. Yes, I am. So what kind of teacher are you? Special ed. Every subject. Every subject. Every you day. Say, look, stress, right? Special ed. Every subject. Every subject. <laughs> every subject. <laughs> they just get them a nerd. Nah, I'm joking. Nah, she loves but them. I know that she does. They do. But they're but like any them. kid. They're them. like any yeah. kids. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so what do you like about working with kids? Is that bad? You gotta take a sip. She gotta take a sip and think about no, it. No, I mean, bit. working with kids is cool. Cause I mean, every day is different. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Yeah, I gotta make sure this is right. Make sure the value moves. Every day, it's like it's never the same thing. You see her? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so what's something that happened that, that that you probably never forgot about? You don't have these names, just like us. Uh, an incident that happened so that kind of like got you like, yo, what? Why? Like. Like why? Oh, a why incident? Yes. Oh, oh like yeah, that's crazy. That's a, one of the craziest things I've ever saw or heard. Or whatever. I'll tell you the craziest thing that ever happened to me. It's on first day teaching. Very, very first day teaching. Right, make sure you're speaking loud so they can hear it. This, right. this is good. This is good right here. Wow. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, go ahead, girl. So I walk in the classroom. I'm thinking, you know, got a little outfit on. I'm looking hey. cute. Everything's uh, good. Go scared as hell though, right? Because it's high school. So I'm like, oh shoot. Get in the classroom. Lean back on the table to get my little speech going that I planned for like days. Oh, so you like, yeah, y'all know what it's gonna be right now. Like right. Yeah. So I lean back on the table and the table collapses. Boom. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you were safe, like you. Safe. But I was on the floor, like I just sat there. The whole class was just silent. Like I started laughing, the whole class was not laughing. That was my so first was day. Yeah, why not? What else could I do? What is something else like that that probably could have been hard or for somebody that made it that, that you did you almost want to quit? Has there ever been a time like that? Absolutely. I feel like everybody gets to that point. Yeah. I had a moment um, being a teacher in high school. Um, I was doing a lot of homework and I had a lady Hold on for a second. We got some people in the back. This is like special guests that's coming through. <laughs> um, who we got? This is, um, this is Bruce Lee on. Um, nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. But we just want, I really want you to hear it and stay going there. You enjoyed yourself? You better go ahead. You better stop playing. Come back, come back. Because we here all night. I'm lying. We're not going to be here all night. But anyways, go ahead. Back to the story. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Yeah, so... I guess she didn't want to take the test that I was giving her, and she just wild out. Like, but what's wild out? Like, like she cussed me. She cussed me. All she cussed you guys. She cussed you. She cuss you. Yeah. All, all, all kinds all. of M's words and S, that I can't. Yeah. M-B's, yeah. ABC, and then B, it turned into B, a. F G H. I was good. What did it turn into? It just turned into like a. Did y'all start fighting? You had to like. Nah, no fighting. No fighting. No. But it was one of the craziest moments I've ever had because she came at me sideways and I was so like, you listen. Really ready for it. No, I was though. It was more like, you're crazy, I'm about 10 times crazier than you. They didn't notice. So they when wasn't she ready. flipped the table, I flipped two more. Uh-huh. It was, it was that, wild that day. And she, she just kind of looked at me and was like, this chick is crazy. She didn't know that. We flipped tables over here. <laughs> it was, it was, I, I mean, it's, it's, not not a good, it's not a good example, but no. sometimes, but sometimes, honestly, you do have to do things because they feel like they feel like they can do anything with the kids. Because a lot of the, the, the situation with kids can be like, it be, can, can be crazy. They can just make up something and that can mess up your whole career and the because they don't like me, you. I'm gonna tell you the problem for me with high school was I'm soft spoken. So yeah. walking into the classroom, I was like, oh my god, 
questions. So I had to really let them know, like, no, you're going to test me, and I'm going to have to test you back. So it turned into one of those moments, like, I wish you would please touch me so that I can get a vacation. Please touch me so yeah. I can go on leave. And she was like, you know, I ain't going to mess with her. She looked crazy. But that's how you have to be, though, because sometimes... You know, they, when you work with issues. kids, like even like me at Southern, sometimes I had to scream on them, but not like scream on them, but like talk to them very stern because they feel that I'm very like soft spoken. Right. That they can run over me, but I have yeah. to let them know that you were just a little kid. You ain't been through much yet. You're going to go through some things. And I'm not saying you aren't going through things, but it's better to talk about it than to try to like take advantage of somebody. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I understand what you mean by that. But let's, let's talk more about your family. You know, your kids, how you love your kids. Yeah. yeah, I have two. Um, a six-year-old that's doing cartwheels across the floor right now. And a 13-year-old. She good, she good, though. Do it again, do it again. Do it again, do it again. You good. My bad. I don't want no violence. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, she's 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 dead. Dead. You're lucky whatever age you are. Because if that was your age, I, I'll beat you up. I'm sorry, I wouldn't beat you up. I'm just kidding. All right, I'm doing the job. And I have so. a 13 year old, it's kind of like a teenager. So how is it for you dealing with that as a parent? Do you or do you feel like you're like a single parent, or is it like Absolutely. you feel like you are? Okay, so how is it dealing with being like a, like a single parent? All right, I'm sorry. I don't know if the father <laughs> or somebody else is in there helping, so I'm asking you. I mean, honestly, we talk. Even if the um, the fathers are around, if you have your kids 24 seven all the time, yeah, you are a single. Parent. So what is what is something tough about that? Because like for me, I know I'm I am like a co-parent, and I know it can be hard for a single parent. Like you said, when you had the kids twenty four hours, like what is something that that like that's hard? But you know, you still get past because with everything, there's always gonna be something that's hard, but it's something that makes it happy too. Like with the kids, yeah. you know, you might have to spin a lot. Let me. I love my kids too, so it's a it's kind of a balance that you have to make when you're a young parent and that. Out, you want to do things, you want to yeah, spend time, whatever. <laughs> no, I mean, you have your life, so it's hard to balance yeah. your life, and then there's that aspect of who do you leave your kids with, you know, who you really trust to leave the kids with. So, most times, I just I either take them with me, like I did right now, or I don't go out. So, that, you know, that's cool, though, but I think, I, think, I think it's good that you sacrifice because sometimes you have to sacrifice for your kids as, as a young, at a young age. I mean, as they're young. Not at our age, right. but as they're young, you have to sacrifice, but you have to show them that as they get older, they're going to have to sacrifice or sacrifice or something. Maybe not kids, but maybe, you know, save some money because they want to, you know, yeah, yeah. so but I think that's good. sacrifice now and then later, you know. Yeah. Because you're an island girl. You're an island girl? Of From where? Jamaica. Oh, no. Jamaica. Boop, <laughs> You're going to back up. But anyways, right? So, um, my bad. I'm Jamaican too. I need to get some flags. Where you need them flags from? Me and my kids well, about I'm to get, look. We about to get the Jamaican flags. We about to get some powder. We gonna start throwing <laughs> at each other. Listen, that's powder what is Trinidadian. Powder is I know that, Jamaican. but I want to. We mixing it up because we got a little mixture in here. Okay, my 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 kids. We just have fun. It's a West Indian thing. Yeah. West what about what about yeah up? the parade and then the day before? What do they do the day before? Juve. Juve. What is that? Juve is like that's Jamaican. No, it's not actually. West Indian? West Indian. But is it Jamaican West like, Indian? Yeah, but Juve is not a Jamaican thing. It's more of a Trini. Haitians? Guyanese. Haitians? I think. Right? Y'all can tell me. Um, no, but it's more or less the day before. You know, you're setting yeah. up and you're oh, preparing for carnival. But it's all okay. drinking food, oil, paint. No? Oh yeah, paint and oil yeah, might get paint, in my eye. oil, no, powder, all of that. Just you be doing that? You ever do that before? Of course. Of course. You, you, literally, like you literally start partying from like 6 o'clock in the evening, if not earlier. Some people start from like 12, and they go straight through the night until the next morning for the break. And they come out of like carnival status. Okay, so we you gotta do it. You gotta do it. I'm gonna do it once with the kids. I know they're gonna be scared. Now you can't yeah. do it with the kids. Oh, okay, with the kids. kids. I really don't wanna do it because I'm like a kid kids. too. I don't wanna do it. No, man. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. Have you ever did it before, like without with the kids? Like, no. But don't, don't they have do like it. a small one for the kids? They have a kitty carnival yeah, kitty in the carnival. morning, yeah. right? What time so, is that one? I think that runs, I'll tell you, I'm not sure, but I think it's like 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. 
But Juve is not for kids, man. All right, That's my strictly bad. like drinking, oh, oil, oh, paint, yeah, well, you know, powder, like that. jumping around. I mean, you gotta drink, but it's all. It's like people don't even wear clothes. But you wanna pop bottles? Bottles of water. All right, right. No comment. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about something else, right? Let's get more about you and personal life and like your everyday uh, from morning to night. Diddle. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is your average day, you know, having to take them, having to deal with your personal life, like some of your personal things? What kind of personal things? Like, you know, you got you gotta your hygiene, your health, stuff like that. It's good, because <laughs> some people be stinking, you know, they don't take showers. Are you you take showers in the morning? She takes showers in the morning, kids? Nah, she did do that. I can't. I can't. <laughs> but my kids like, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You good. I like yeah. you. You the woman. <laughs> you the woman. But nah, I'm joking with you. But I'm talking more so personal. Like for me, I know I am embarrassed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know from, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to get better. I know for me, like, I deal with my everyday thing as a, as a diabetic, taking medicine and sticking myself. And that's what I'm But Yes, it helps. We're talking about, we're getting to know you. All right, all right. All right. But before we go here, we can talk more so about. No, let's talk about that first. I want to talk about your dance. I don't, after. Want to talk about. I don't know what I want to talk about, but I want to talk. All right. Yeah. All right. So, so we talk about it. So we talk about, as in, like I said, for me, I don't want to make it seem like it's a fast thing. I had thing, this but tropical mango, and I'm about to it's do not it. even that good. Though. It's really good. Look how many. Look how much sugar it has in it, though. It has 32 grams of sugar. What's your point? That's, that's a lot of sugar. It's nasty. It doesn't matter. It had, it had one gram flavor. Of sugar. It's good, y'all. It's good. Whatever. Anyways, like I was saying, okay, probably we will be into <laughs> but, uh, but um, no, just like I was saying, dealing with your, I guess you better way to say your medical condition. Because I do have a friend that has the same medical condition, but hers is very extreme right now, and she's not as strong. And to see you, you're, 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 you're Calm down, baby. Um, just, just to see you, you look normal. But I know with my friend, she had told me that after a while, she got used to like the pain where she had learned to mask it in a sense and yeah. still get through your normal day. Absolutely. And I feel like sometimes I used to get mad at her because she wouldn't tell me she was in pain. And I would want to know because I want to be able to like, you know, at least talk or just, you know, do something funny or do so, uh, something to help. You know, it's just, right, it's just right. that I care. It's I not that something. I know I can't do anything physically, but it's just like I care about my and you know, like you, I feel like we've grown a, a good relationship, and we talk about stuff, and we talk about, you know, how you deal with your life, and cope, how you cope with your yeah. pain. And All right, well, bring the listeners in on this one. Um, I have sickle cell thalassemia. What that basically is, um, in a nutshell, the sickle cell portion, you have blood cells that aren't regularly shaped. They have a Kind of a bean shape to them so they don't get as much oxygen as regular cells do the symptoms for that are like um, pain in your joints and pretty much everywhere right it's, it's pretty painful um, tiredness uh, the thalassemia piece is, is weird is that part so the tiredness. The tiredness. you seem like you have a lot of energy yeah because I eat good. Eat good. Like, well, so what do you, no, do, you, you know what? Honestly, stress is a big factor. Um, I've had times in the past where I've been really stressed out. And you can tell because I get super tired. I can't even yeah. stay awake because I'm just... But I, I think that's the same thing leaving like for me sometimes when I have like those days when I'm really like frustrated and stressed out, mm-hmm. I get tired and I do I do want to sleep and I don't really feel like talking to anybody. I just kind of want to be alone. Yeah, and I've so had, I mean... People, people think, all right, you dance. How do you do that? And you, you have pain and you have sickle cell. How does that work? But it actually, it's, it's weird, but it works because dancing keeps me active and keeps like you moving. That's why. Yeah, I, it keeps me moving. That's what so I try to say though. Too. There is pain, but it's not. It's not stressful pain, which is what like happens. Like, like your your pain is, is, is really different than what I'm going to speak of. But uh-huh. I feel like when people have injuries or. Or like people it's hard for them to walk or stuff and they don't try it more even though it hurts it's not going to get better so that's right. like you it's like it's good that you're at least you're active because 
if you just like in pain you stay still, I feel like it gets worse. It does. It does. Um, it is better. The thalassemia piece is kind of, you know, that part I have to keep a um, handle on because what that is, again, the stress. Yes, because when I get really stressed out, yeah. um, my blood, blood cells tend to pop. So wait, so when you get stressed out, your blood cells It's like, pop. right, it's like There's the body almost cell. fighting against each other. I don't feel it at all except that I get super tired and I pass out. It's called blood count. So your, if your blood cells are popping, right, then you end up having less blood cells than you're supposed to have. So I end up with a blood count that's way lower than it's supposed to be, and that's where the passing out comes into play. So how do you, how do you like, get, um, like come back? Like, is it like a rejuvenation for you when you pass out? No. So I'm just do? super tired. Like the, I just literally my diet, and I'm allergic to like. So we talked yeah, about yeah, that too. So but to I have to keep a lot of greens and you know like. Yeah. So what do you? What kind of like greens? Do you eat? Everything. I love vegetables, so that yeah. works out good. Right? Oh, yeah, but yeah, everything. What's but your favorite one? Say, you say you love it or you're a I don't have a favorite. Like, I like everything. Just about. Yeah. So you're just greedy. I am. I'm such a foodie. Yeah, you are. You, yeah, you just look. Yeah. I love to eat. I'm like a skinny fat girl. And that's what I be saying about me because I know we just ate a couple slices of pizza yeah. once I get home. <laughs> I know I'm some more. Again. Yeah, so it's just like regular. You know what I'm saying? But let's talk more, even though I'm glad you spoke about that. But no, I, you know what I want to speak about? Because I know we was talking one day, and you was talking about how some of the people that like, you're in this group on Facebook, and how yeah. some of them um, take pills and stuff, and how they get like immune to it. Mm -hmm. like, well, that's what happens. I mean, honestly, the medical industry doesn't really understand sickle cell very well. Okay. So it becomes a case of when someone comes in and they're in this immense pain, they say sickle cell is one of those um, silent diseases because you can't see it. Yeah. The person's feeling it, but who are you to say what I'm feeling, you know? Yeah. So they come in and we're in immense pain. All they do is give us painkillers. So it's like, how much pain are you in from a 1 to 10? That person says a 10, they're pumping you with painkillers. And what does that do? That affects your organ. So I have friends and people that I know on uh, Facebook. I keep, you know, I follow some yeah. stuff on Facebook. And sometimes you come across people that you've been following for years and then they pass away, you know, and you're like, what happened? Organ failure, the kidneys failed, the liver failed, or something failed, and what's causing that? The medication. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are dying well, not that's, from that's actual true. disease, but from the meds. Like I was telling you, though, I really feel like that too, because like even for me, when I take the medicine, I feel like I, if I don't, if I miss a day or two, it, I feel different, so you kind of yeah. do get immune to it or you need it to kind of keep your body going and that's the sad thing because then it's like you're, you're depending on something what if something happens where you can't get invested for a while right. then what so like, for me i've had two blood transfusions um so there are times when i end up in the hospital and i can't really get around not taking medicine because once you're in there that's what they're giving you but like you say why do i look so healthy in my opinion it's because i don't take medicine i refuse so i'm a health fanatic. Like, I'll do anything natural but I don't want that. Do you ever look at Dr. Simi? Of course, he just died. He, he did? Dr. Away. Simi died? Oh, sorry. Condolences to his family. Dr. Simi was a good guy. He get, got rid of a lot of diseases or medical disorders. Yeah, he had a lot of natural remedies for a lot of stuff. But that's good though. At least he put them out there. You know, yeah. because you know, it, it's good to, to put out there because you know you're not going to be able to take any, but you can take stuff with you, but it's better to give it to somebody else than as in knowledge. It's true. Like I'll tell you an example. My mother had um, thyroid cancer in 2017, uh, 18 years ago. Okay. And the same thing. A ton of meds they had on her, and she was feeling really bad. Like I really thought I was gonna lose her. But then me being this natural fanatic, I want to find a natural way to help her. I found out we are born with cancer cells. I didn't know yeah. that, right? And it was like weeks feed on, like, they basically feed your cancer cells and cause the cancer to get worse. So, I think if I'm not mistaken, it was Dr. CB that brought that to my attention. And, like, yeah, I saw something about that, though, too. Like, the more vegetables have, like, you eat, you can actually reduce 
to the cure cancer cells and get rid of it. So I go to her and I'm like, yo, we juicing. Like, let's just yeah, juice. But you know what happened? Juice. You know what's crazy about she that? She got better yeah. though. Yeah, it's a I believe it. It went into remission. I believe that, but the, somebody else was telling me about them and their wife, and they started juicing. And they said everything changed. They got back healthy. They like really it's crazy. Now. Yeah, She's so that's why I be doing that too. Cause I wanna like, I'm really trying to get my diet down, so then I don't have to take the medicine as much. And it's like I'm used to eating smaller portions. Yeah. Cause I know they say it's like the size of your palm and right, all right. this other stuff. Yeah, I have an issue with Yeah, the palm. Portions. Cause I'm a big dude. And I'm really but you know what it is for me too. Yeah. It's like if you if you're an athlete and you stay active too, though, it's hard to do portions. Like, yeah, to even to maintain it. And that's, you know what too though, that's, that's a misconception because they tell you portion control, but it's also based on your weight, based on your yeah. body, based on all of that. So yeah, your portions yeah. may not be the same as my portions, you know what I mean? That's what I'm it's saying. hard to People say that. People looking at me like, like I'm crazy when I be eating like that, but I just be so active. they be like, you okay? You didn't eat? I'd be like, I did, but I'd just be hungry. You know what I'm saying? But let's talk about your dancing because like, <clears throat> yeah. I know you be like getting crazy. I saw the picture when he was like jumping in. Yeah. 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 I, just, I did I that. Do, I told you that. Yeah. So babe, you see anything she does? Because <laughs> uh, she did. So what's the that. what's the name of the group again? Because I, I told you. It's Batinga Arts. Batinga Arts. Yeah. You know what I mean? I told her this, I like when she go to practice and she practice and she doesn't get the move, she comes back to me and you can work show, on. Show me what show me what she's talking. About. You can't do that right now. Now you're trying to put me on the spot. And it's very disrespectful, <laughs> and I don't think it's nice. Okay. So anyway, let's get back to her. Yeah. Arts. Yeah. And they're, they're we are a um, Afro-Caribbean dance company. So we deal with pretty much um, West African, South African, um, any kind of African dance and Caribbean dance. And we kind of mix the two together. Yeah. And so you mean, like, you mean enjoying yourself with that? Absolutely. What about that? Is there a lot of pain with that? I mean, it's, it's like any sport. Well, we have four or five hour rehearsals a day, three days a week. It's like any school right now. Yeah, they focus. I was going to join, but, but I didn't think that they was the ready for me. <laughs> they wasn't ready. You know, I'm just saying, you can't hate my moves. Okay. But I want to I wanna thank you for coming out and talking to us. This is, very this is a night. beautiful night. It's a very I'm nice night out here, you know what I mean? Here with Shelly. You got the, you got the whole like backdrop. You're not gonna get the backdrop, but we're gonna try and look at the backdrop. But um, I thank you again. And again. And again. You have now just been rain checked. Check, you see that one? You like that? All right, we over and out. You can just take us out. Wait, hold on. Wait, someone asked a question. Can you ask her if she's interested in being part of becoming to American Fashion Show? Of course. Yeah, that's cool. You gotta hit us up. Hit us up. That's cool. Hit us up. Hit me up, and then you can hit. I'll hit you up, or you hit her up. You wanna tell them where to hit you up at? No, they can't. <laughs> Wait. What happened? What's up? Oh, what's the roach? It's a gaga roach. You must step on it. Of course. Oh, but anyways, we out here. Hit you up. Definitely hit me up, and I will hit her up. That um, sounds cool, though. See that? We, we, we are networking. This is what we're all about. Like I said, get your own on your own because that's what my bro Tone says. And we're going to also, own. yeah, like you got you to gotta learn. You got to get yourself better to help everybody else. You understand? Because if you're not happy, then everybody else is not happy. That's more about what I've learned. I, we're going to go into that another time. But um, thank you for coming out. Tune in tomorrow. We got another one coming up with my guy. We're going to be in the weight room. I'm going to be flexing on them. You see that one muscle I have? The go. one. <laughs> it's all right. But we we going to definitely tune in. Y'all got to tune in. Stop playing because we got more interviews coming. This was great. And she was great. And it was great. And we're going to have more great stuff going on. This was a great day. And it's a nice day. And I'm going to just push the button. So. <laughs> Bye.